and then each color the flats, and then the shadow and the light, blah, 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 blah. And that's just one character. That is secondary, though, to the fact that the piece I'm working on, I forget the dimensions, it's bigger than 11 by 17. It's like 22 by 14 at, you know, 300 DPI, and that limits the amount of layers you can have, too. So I've actually had to merge layers I didn't want to. I, I've deleted reference layers, moved other assets over, like the pencils and the flats for the foreground skeleton stuff is not even in the file at this point because I, I needed two more layers, so I had to erase those layers. So that's a, a reason to have, wish it was on Photoshop on my computer. The other reason is one of, it, it, it doesn't have a really good magic wand tool, like, like selecting a, an area <coughs> of color to change it, add it, remove it. There are workarounds and I could do it, but it's like harder. It takes longer, it's more frustrating as opposed to just going click, erase, or click, now it's blue. And so I, I'm i gonna get back. I, I don't think I'll work on it now because it's almost dinner time, but I wanna work on it later to, after dinner. Uh, that's my big New Year's Eve plan. And I may or may not switch it over to Photoshop at this point. The other thing is, and this is a dumb reason, but in terms of like social media and stuff, Procreate records the whole thing automatically. But if I switch to Photoshop, I'll have this perfect recording from like nothing through rough, through most of the inks, up until I started coloring and then it'll cut off. And yes, there's software to record when I'm working on uh, Photoshop and stuff. I don't know if I feel like doing that. And if I do, then I gotta stitch the two files together, etc. That's a secondary problem. But my th w this commission, super flexible with timelines. Originally they're like, oh, maybe I got have by November. But really just, yeah, by the end of the year is fine. And then, you know, I think I said this already, but I was like, I think I'll have it by the end of the year. And they're like, if you don't, that's fine. So I really did want to get it done tonight. I won't. But what I want to do is however much I get done tonight. And right now, like if I send this to them now, they could tell it's like pretty close to being done. Um, I want to send them whatever I have. Like kind of happy New Year's Eve. It's not done, but you can see this is what I got. And this is the only thing I'm working on for the next couple of days. Like I'm not going to work on anything else until this is done. Um, then I have the Godzilla minus one. I just got another commission. It's funny because like, it's such a good problem to have that where I could be picky and choosy in terms of subject matter and money. And really my main constraint right now is time, but it's still kind of a constraint because um, there is a musician, actor, he's just like a Renaissance man. And he does a Power Ranger that's in a fan film series uh, and that we've commented on on my Action Activate channel and we've interviewed him. And you know, I, I've met him at cons. I know him to a certain degree. And because it's a, a, a it's a character that was created, it's, it's, it's from Ninja Storm, which is an actual team, and his character was created to be part of that team. Uh, and he has a suit and special effects, he's in this episode, but it's all fan-made, so there's no official artwork of this character. And he has expressed interest in me doing a headshot, and so I was like, well, I can't really do anything until February. I'm not, I'm not committing to any new things being due until February. Right now, it's the day before the 1st of January. And I said, if you could wait that long, Here's the price, and he's like, "Sounds good." So, after minus one, I'm doing uh, Black Inferno Ranger for Ninja Storm for him. So I have technically three commissions right now. One of which, hopefully, I'll be done with soon. Uh, yeah. The other thing is, and I, I, I've talked about this a bit on the channel, especially when I was doing a lot of uh, Ninja Tur uh, Godzilla uh, crossover with Power Rangers and Ninja Turtle crossover with Power Rangers uh, sketch cover stuff. I really want to do more, not, I said sketch cover, but I meant variant cover stuff. Um, I really want to do more variant covers um, to, to either at like a high level where people will see it or subject matter I really like or or for good money or like, like there's almost, I could find a reason to do it for almost any comic, you know? Um, and I, for whatever reason, I've had a real difficult time doing it, even though I know people either artists or writers that have comics that have hired people to do variant covers, but just not me, or, you know, small publishers or comic stores similarly that just, you know, and I try not to take it personally, but it is weird given the amount of people I'm in some level of contact with or some level of association or friendship, I just can't seem to make it happen. Even when I've offered to do it for free at times for certain projects, they're just like, no, nah. like, oh, that hurts me in the, in the art feels. <laughs> but like two days ago, Todd McFarlane uh, of Spider-Man Spawn Image Comics fame announced this thing where he's doing, I oh, wouldn't think if this wasn't recording the whole time, announced this thing where he was doing sort of a contest. He has, I guess he has four books now. He has King Spawn, Gunslinger Spawn. I, I don't know if he has three books or four books for Spawn, but he's offering four 
variant covers. And basically, you, for the month of January, every week will be a different theme. Do your cover, and if he picks it, he'll put it on there, and you get published by Image Comics, Todd McFarlane Spawn. Something I would definitely want to do. Todd McFarlane was one of my big influences when I was younger and kind of got me into comics. Spawn is a character that I definitely collected back in the day. I haven't read it much recently. Um, and, you know, Todd, eh, there's a lot of reasons why I'd want to do this. And also, having my art on an image comic sounds great. There's no pay as far as I could tell. So there's like a little bit of like, doing work for free for this guy that makes a lot of money. But I'm kind of like, <sighs> I mean, maybe this is the way I finally get in. But it's also, there's going to be thousands of people doing it. Do I really think I'm going to be the best or one of the four best? No, you know. But shouldn't I try? Maybe I'll, you know, somebody else will see it and go, well, Todd didn't hire you, but I'll hire you. Um, and then there's also the thing people have asked, like, well, does it have to be colored? And so it's like kind of nebulous, like, well, it could just be pencils and inks. I don't have to do color. But if someone else does color, then they're going to, you know, so I can conceivably finish the Hedera picture. And before I do Godzilla Minus One, do one or more covers for... Todd. I keep wanting to say sketch cover, but that's not accurate. It's finished artwork. And I don't know if I should do it. I don't, I, I, I kind of want it in a world of unlimited time. I want to do it, but now it's like, Oh, a week I'm slow. How good can I do in a week? I mean, I guess technically I could do, I could pick the, the fourth week. Cause you, you don't have to enter all of them. You could just do one. Um, I could pick the fourth subject and spend the month doing it. And that'd probably be the smart move. I don't know. It's something I'm considering. I, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Uh, remember remember the Harvey 4? Yeah, that's something that needs to be... i got to figure out what... Uh, I had said... I'm not going to get too much into it now because I feel like this could be its own whole video. I had said if I don't finish issue 3 by the end of the year, I'm done. I quit that comic. Done with it. It's the end of the year. Unless I do all that work by tomorrow, which is physically impossible. Uh, by my own deadline, I should be done. I don't think I'm going to be done. I did get more progress on it the last few months than I have in the last few years. But it is a thing where I keep getting these other projects that I kind of want to do or for one reason or another. And with my limited time, it's like if I'm doing, like, you know, if I put a couple hours a day into drawing, it'll take me a couple weeks to do like a full color finished kaiju print. And that's like, oh, that's a couple weeks that of not working on the horror. And so I have, you know, two or three commissions, that's like a month or two of not working on it. So I don't know, but I have been working a lot. I have been drawing a lot. So that's good at least. Um, I'm back in and I'm looking at where I was. Uh, the color's not really translating as well on here, but I am pretty with happy with how it's coming out. I have to be careful about making sure there's a separation between the foreground and the background. But I'm reminded of something somebody said about art and how as artists, we, you know, we're always critical of our work and blah, 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 and to greater and lesser extent and with greater and lesser accuracy of as to our actual skill level. Um, but one of the things somebody said uh, was about how a lot of artists, uh, and I'll include myself in this, sort of look at the art and no matter how good or skilled or improved you are, it still looks like you drew it. It still looks like your art. And in a way that means it's like, ah, oh, it doesn't look good because it's just something I could draw. I'm like, I want it to look professional or look like this other artist or whatever you have in your mind. And that like, you know, being that it's your art and your voice, that's kind of what makes it special. Fine, fair, accepted. But that being said, there are times when I draw things and I'm like, that doesn't look like I drew it in a way that I enjoy. Um, and I, this image that I just showed you is sort of that. It's like, it, it almost doesn't look like I drew it, but not that I hate my art, uh, but I feel like when this happens with me, at least, and I think with other artists too, it's sort of like, oh, this is sort of uh, on average, something about it, the inking lines, the composition, just on average, it's above my current skill level. This is where I will be, this will be my average drawing in six months, in a year, but right now it's like, this is much better than I normally can do. How did I do this? Who drew this? And if you keep drawing constantly and consistently, it's sort of, you, everything raises up and becomes your new norm. Um, but right now it doesn't look like I drew it and I love that. Happy New Year's Day, everybody. Uh, Target's open, so I'm getting a grocery order and picking up some prescriptions. Uh, my child uh, is refusing to leave the car because it's chilly out. And I said, okay, we'll put on a hoodie or this jacket. Uh, and she doesn't want to wear anything with sleeves. Nothing with sleeves. And I said, well, just put it on till we get to the store, which you could see the front door right there. Look. And then you could take it off. And uh, hysterics. 
So now I'm standing outside the car making this video talking to you, uh, which is sort of like talking to an adult sane person, but except I now look like a crazy adult person. Yeah, put it on. She might be putting it on now. I'm gonna try to do some more art later. It's Tuesday night. I'm about to play Fortnite. Not productive, not productive. Uh, however, yesterday I did a lot of work. I didn't film after. The Godzilla vs. Hedera piece, it's sort of almost kind of done. I need to finish up the inks uh, on the skeletons on the bottom. And other than that, it's tightening up the color and, and effects and making kind of a few creative choices. But like, if I had to have it done tomorrow, I could, and I might. Um, I'm Today was uh, not amazing. Well, yesterday I didn't get good to sleep. I had a hard time going to sleep. I was My back hurt probably because instead of working on my Cinti, well, I was working, I was at a weird angle. I wasn't being ergonomically correct while I did a lot of work. And I did a lot of work yesterday, like, I wanna say like, five hours, six hours, which in a normal work day for a normal working artist is not a lot. But for the, my, the way my life is with the child and everything, that is quite a bit um, in one day. I'm not a weekend even. Tomorrow, uh, oh, but so then today uh, I was kind of burnt out and physically tired. And I also ended up doing a lot of stuff in the house running around. But also I'm normally off of kid duty, primary kid duty around 4.30. But today I pretty much stayed on until bedtime. Um, so I, the the brief respite I had in the middle of the day was spent uh, going to the bathroom and laying on the bed and kind of I don't even remember what the rest of the time I did like nothing you know um, just like <laughs> recovering. Um, it's I think going on nine eight thirty nine o'clock I don't know. Um, so I have a little while before I go to bed and I, I want to try to make myself do a little bit more on this because I haven't touched it yet today really. But Fortnite, because I kind of don't want to do anything. I kind of want to lay down and go to sleep, but it's too early for that. So I'm going to sit in here. I'm going to play a Fortnite round or two and then force myself to look at the files. Even if I just push some layers around, I don't really do anything. I, I like I, I must open it and look at it and push some things around. If I then get inspired to work on it, great. If not, fine. I try to go to bed. Tomorrow, um, my mom is coming uh, to watch the kid for a while. I'm going to go to a coffee shop, that whole shebang you see me do before. And the problem is this file is so big and has so many layers that I have to work on it on my computer now. Well, that's not necessarily true. I could just work on that one layer. There's no way I could finish this on the iPad. I could take elements of it and have to recombine it later, which I may or may not do. Or I might start working on something else, the spawn cover, or my Godzilla minus one, whatever. Um, but Fortnite for now, Fortnite for now. Okay, well. I'm just leaving uh, my coffee place, the Press Espresso place, yes. Um, today is, was not, hold on. Good, uh, <laughs> I was trying to put on my sunglasses, they got caught on my glove, but the phone fell, it was a mess. Um, but anyway, today was, today is and was supposed to be the day where uh, my mother did some babysitting and I got a lot of work done. Um, it was pouring rain this morning and freezing cold. And so I wasn't going to be able to leave the house to go here. I thought about doing some work at home, but I didn't feel very well. Uh, so I kind of just relaxed for a little bit. And then I did a bunch of housework. And, uh, but around 12, it had cleared up and I felt a little better. And I'm like, all right, I'm going. And so I went and I've been here about two hours. I had two cups of coffee, had some, uh, uh, some toast and, uh, got some work done. Mostly the skeletons and foreground in the picture, uh, on my on Procreate, because I, I was just using those three layers, and I'm just gonna copy and paste those over. Um, I I got the pencils done. It was like really, it was rougher than I remembered. So I got the pencils done, and I'm like, I don't know, 50 percent, 75 percent done with the inks, and the coloring should be pretty simple. So that's good. I did plan on getting more work done, and honestly, I have another half hour ish, maybe a little more, that I could stay here, but I'm cold. I'm really cold. Um, it looks nice out, and you know, for, for the January, because I live in California, uh, it's warm, uh, but it's like 50 something. And it's funny, because just last night I was talking to my neighbors and I was out there, I had my shorts on and a hoodie, didn't have gloves at the time. And they're like, bro, you're out here in shorts, I don't know how you do I'm like, I'm from the East Coast, that I'm not to do. Uh, but I think, and it's not freezing cold, like I'm standing out here, but I wasn't in the direct sun. I was in the shade, so that makes a difference. It's a little bit windy, because I've been out here a few times when it's like, I think it's cold, but maybe it was like in the 60s. Maybe it was a 10 degree difference. But uh, I had to go pee three times <laughs> because I just like, you know, when you get cold, you have to pee three. And each time it was like, like just fill in a bucket, you know. Uh, and 
my hands, I had these gloves on, my hands were like freezing, getting numb. And I tried drawing with this one on, but it's too thick. So I had to take it off and, and I'm just, I don't know, I was struggling to, to, to work. And so I'm like, all right, well, I put my two hours in. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna sit in the car, maybe stop at a store, maybe get home early and draw. But the fact that I did so much work the other day makes me feel a little bit about this. Um, I really wanted to have this drawing done yesterday. And so today I could work on potentially a spawn variant cover. Um, but now I'm still struggling. This has to be done by the end of the week uh, or the weekend at the very latest. Um, it, well, it doesn't have to be, but that's what I said. I, I told the person who commissioned me it would be done by then. And I, again, I think they wouldn't care if I didn't, but that's what I said. And I also want to get it done and move on because I'm like so close to being done. Uh, I'm just like struggling with these last little bits. Um, but that's it for now. Holy cow, it's so warm in this car. I really think part of it is the sun. I feel like I have the heater on in here. <sighs> what a difference after the holidays. All the discount stores were loaded to the brim and expanded like five aisles. And now it's just like empty. Where'd it go? I don't understand. If it didn't sell, where is it? This is the liquidation store. Explain capitalism to me. This is the video later that night. It, it looks daytime out, but it's quite dark, isn't it? Do you think it's nighttime? It is. What do you think about nighttime? Um, I want to be in the video. You are in the video. What do you think about nighttime? Uh, I, it looks like dark mm -hmm. and, for real. Right. But in the video, it looks a little light. <laughs> That's true. Are you saying that because I said that? No, just because it looks like okay yes okay do you like anything about nighttime i like that i can snuggle up in bed and co get cozy that is a yep i agree that's a good thing about nighttime all right anything else you want to say um, the end we have to wait really 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 long no uh it's only been about a minute and a half and uh, they're probably going to be out here in a minute because I don't think anyone else is waiting but us. So, really? really? Okay, it's like 8.30 the same day, the same day being what? Wednesday. Okay. Um, I worked some more when I got home. I finished up all the inking on the skeleton pieces and the, the ooze in the front that I had started at the coffee shop. Um, I... I did the initial roughs of the skeleton pieces completely out of my head. Now, once upon a time, I studied bones and anatomy and I was decent at it, but I haven't brushed up in a long time. And I, I was never amazing at it. Um, and so when I was at the place, I looked at a skull or two for a couple, my skulls are not accurate, but I made them a little more accurate. And specifically I looked, I had a hand. And so I just looked at the, the metacarpal bones and stuff to make the hand like not look too off. Again, I'm not going for photorealism, but just sort of passable. Um, got home, finished the inks, and I, I worry that I put, I tried to like not put too much detail in it. So I put just a couple like little detail lines, but I wasn't being too precious with it. So I'm worried maybe did it come out a little sloppy? Should I take some of those lines out? Cause I don't want them to be competing with the folk for focus for things in the background. Then I started worrying about line weights because I did this independent of the rest of the inks. Although in retrospect, I guess I had some ink layers maybe on my iPad somewhere, but regardless, I finished it sent it to my computer, sent it to Photoshop, and now I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm going to combine the two, and it'll be like moment of truth of like, oh, this works and I just have to color it, or I've made a huge mistake, this is unusable, or well, I gotta tweak it, and I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so this is where I'm at. I, I composited it, it went in fine. Um, it does look like the line weights are very light. Um, which is difficult because they're supposed to be human bones, so they're gonna be smaller than the, the kaiju here, but they're also supposed to be close to the camera, but I don't wanna pull focus, blah, 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 blah. I, I originally had them as bright yellow. I almost think it works better to leave them so that it's just like details, but then the blacks, the eyes. I gotta muck around with some stuff. There's also, I'm getting some weird, uh, it's hard to see, some weird artifacts. Yeah, and I don't know why I'm getting that because the flat layer underneath yeah, I'm still getting them. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm not happy about that. I'm gonna have to mess with this some more. Um, I think we're in that middle ground where it's not unusable, but it's not done and flirts. I'm gonna miss this. It's always sad when the decorations come down. Okay, so last night I finished, I finished, meaning I'm not sure if it's finished, the drawing I was doing of Godzilla. 
Um, the art is all done, the drawing's all done, but I was working on the coloring. And I'm not sure if the coloring's done. And I sent it to a couple people to look at. Um, and the feedback I got was generally what I thought were. It's a little bit, the Godzilla and the other kaiju are kind of blended together a little bit. It's hard to tell them apart. And the advice I got was basically to add more color. Different. What's the other kaiju? The other kaiju is Hedera, or the smog monster. Uh, and the advice I got was to add more color, like a bright, First, it was like one of the people was like, "Well, change the colors." Mothra? It's not Mothra. It's it's Hedera, Hedora, or the Smog Monster. Uh, was to change the color essentially, and I'm like, "Well, it, that's the color they are, and I, I can't change it." And unfortunately, Godzilla and the Smog Monster are very similar colors, very kind of muted grayish. Um, and it was like, "Well, put a reflected light and, or a different whatever," which is kind of what I tried to do. And as I worked on it repeatedly, I put like a pink highlight all over Godzilla and then muted it. And like I kept putting those colors in and they didn't look good to me. And I'm like, that's not what I want. I want it to look like the characters. Um, I put all the bright colors in the background was the idea. Uh, although not as bright as I'd like them to be because of CMYK. And this is uh, what I said to one of my friends, uh, art friends, Paul. they're my friend, but specifically I was talking to artists, just to be clear. I was looking for not just regular, hey, do you think this is good advice? But like, you know, what would you do to make it different, et cetera. And I, I was petting her, I just put her down. Um, and the thing I said was, a lot of times I'm unhappy with my drawing and I'm like, it's kind of messed up or not as good here, or whatever. And then I use my coloring and I save it and, and cover up the defects and make it shiny and good. And this is a case where I said before, I was happy with the drawing and I felt like this came out really much better than I thought it would. And honestly, the coloring on Godzilla and the coloring on Smog Monster, I also thought came out good. It's sort of the background and the the, the color separating them and everything else that I'm like this I feel like now it's dragging it down what am I doing and I wonder if part of it is that like I have a certain coloring style sort of a comic book coloring style and with this I tried to be like the tiniest bit experimental and so now there's like clashing styles not so much in the drawing but in the coloring but it's a thing where like I, I perceive there's a problem but I'm not sure how to fix it and I've been spending a lot of time trying to fix it and it's been just frustrating and it's been uh, demoralizing and I want to have it done so I can move on to other things. Uh, but I also don't want to, uh, but I, I want to service. Get out of here. All right, one sec. But I want to service the the art. I don't want to, uh, yeah, I want to do a good job. And I, it's just, I feel like it's a case where I'm putting time in and not getting anything out of it is what's happening. Um, so I'm going to take another, today, I'm, it's going to be done today is what I decided. I, I got to just try a couple bold choices, see if that works and, and go one way or the other and be done. I was gonna do some atmospheric B-roll for just a second of us, of like the plate and that what we're eating out here. But I realized you're in the video right now. As soon as you say that you're in it. But I realized that there's Nirvana playing right now, so I might get a copyright strike for a minute ago or even for right now, which is ridiculous.